Hello, welcome to my channel Math with Mrs. O. Today's lesson is changing repeating decimals to fractions. So, we have here example number one, 0 0.15, 15, 15. But sometimes you see a bar on top of 15, which would mean that how many places are repeated? Two or two digits. Two digits are repeated. So, 0 0.15, 15, 15, this would mean that we have here uh, 0 0.15515515 and so on and so forth. Right? So, 1, 5, or 15, the two digits are repeated. So, what do we do? We have to remove the repeating decimal. So, you let this be x. This is going to be your x there. x means 1x. Okay? Take note of that. So, let's write it here. Note that x is just equal to 1x. There. So, to remove the repeating decimal, you have to multiply this by 100x. So, whenever we're multiplying by 100x, we move the decimal point how many places? Two. 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 Correct. Two places to the right. So, we have here 1, 2. So, this becomes 15.15. 15, 15, and so on and so forth. And then you subtract the given x. So you subtract 1x. We have here 0 0.151515 one, five, dot dot dot. So then you're subtracting Okay, both sides by negative 1x or negative 0.151515. So, 100x minus 9x gives us 99x. So, this is 99x is equal to 15.15515 minus 0.151515 is 15. Yeah, 15. Because these are now cancelled. Right? And then... We isolate x by dividing it by Inigo, how do we isolate x here? We divide it by 99. Yes, you divide it by 99 there. So the 99 cancels, we get x is equal to 15 over 99. But wait, what do you see about 15 and 99? Is this already in simplest form? No. no not yet. Okay, so we divide it by the greatest common factor. What's the greatest common factor? Three. Three. So you divide this by three. Okay. So 15 divided by three is five. five. And 99 divided by three is 33. 33. So the final answer is 5 over 33, which is letter A. Now, second example. What happens if the repeating decimal contains only one digit repeating. For example, I ask you to change 0 0.777 bar, which means we have here 0 0.777 dot dot dot. Right? Uh, what do we do? If we let this be x, sige, you let x or 1x be equal to 0 0.777 dot dot dot. We multiply this by 10. Okay. If we multiply by 10, you simply move the decimal point one place to the right. Right? Yes. Oh, let, let's review that. If you multiply by 10, you move the decimal point one place to the right. If you multiply by 100, you move it two places to the right. If you multiply by 1,000, you move the decimal point how many places to the right? Three places. Three places to the right. So here, 
you move it one place to the right. So you're getting 7.777 dot 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 minus 1x, which is 0.777. This is understood to be 0. Here, uh, this is understood to be 0. Minus, so 10x minus 1x is 9x equals 7.777 minus 0 0.777 gives you a 7. Therefore, divide both both sides by 9. This will give you an x which is equal to 7 over 9. There. Now, I give you a shortcut now. Huh? Oh, this is a shortcut. What do you observe here? When there are two decimal places, your denominator is 99, right? But when you only have one decimal place, your denominator is 9. So what do you think is the shortcut there? Yeah, it depends on how many repeating decimals there are. If you have only have one repeating decimal, you copy the, the repeating decimal overnight. If there are two repeating decimals, what do you do? You copy the repeating decimals and then over 99. If there are three repeating decimals, what do you do? You copy the repeating decimals, then over 999. Okay, so let's have shortcut here. This is now our shortcut. For example, let's go back to that. When we have 0 0.151515 bar, what is it as a fraction again? Copy the numerator 15 over 99 because there are two repeating decimals and then simplify it by dividing it by the greatest common factor what's the greatest common three. factor here three. three 15 divided by 3 is 5 99 divided by 3 is 30. 33 there so in our second example a while ago we had 0 0.777 bar so what is this as a fraction 7 over 9. 9, one repeating decimal. So you have 7 over 9. Okay. What if we have here 0 0.23, 23, 23 bar? What is it as a fraction? 23 over 99. Yeah, 23 over 99. What if I have here 0 0.5555 bar? What's the answer? 5 over 9. Yes, we have here 5. You copy the repeating decimal 5. There's only one repeating decimal, so your denominator is 9. Okay, number 5, let's move on. Let's say we have here 0 0.123, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There, 1, 2, 3 is repeating. What is our answer here? 123. Nine hundred ninety-nine. Yeah. Okay. So let me repeat the shortcut again. If there is one repeating decimal, you copy the repeating decimal seven. Your denominator is nine. If there are two repeating decimals, so you copy the repeating decimals twenty-three and then over ninety-nine. If there are three repeating decimals, you copy the, repeating the whole number or the repeating decimals here, 123 over 999. Well, I'll give you another example. What if we have here, let's say, 0 0.7654, bar? Well, what's the answer here? Seven. 7,654 over 9,999. Very good. There, that's the shortcut. Did you get it? Yes. Okay, always remember 
add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life. Thank you.